Well, Trump's change of attitude on the One China policy may be the results of his cabinet's influence. And the American president may slowly be discovering that running a country is different from running a company. Our correspondent Harry Horton has more. Well, it happened late on Thursday nights here in Washington. There were reports that President Xi Jinping uh, was refusing to talk to President Donald Trump over the phone until he backed down and agreed uh, to honor the long-standing U.S. policy uh, or recognizing the one China policy. The White House said that they had a lengthy telephone conversation uh, and during the uh, numerous topics that were discussed, President Trump agreed at the request of President Xi to honor the one China policy. Uh, now, you might recall that President Trump had previously discussed the possibility of using the one China policy as some sort of bargaining chip in a negotiation with China uh, on trade deals. Uh, he seems now to have backed down uh, from that position. Uh, the White House also said that the uh, phone call between the two leaders was extremely cordial. This is the first time that they've spoken since President Donald Trump's inauguration in January. Uh, and it also said that the two leaders extended invitations to meet in their respective countries. Uh, no date set for that, but uh, 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 according to the White House, some sort of uh, meeting uh, agreed at some point in the future. I think Donald Trump is slowly starting to discover that uh, international diplomacy is very different when you're in government uh, to, uh, to working on business deals around the world when you are running your own company. The one China policy, I mean, uh, the uh, former President Barack Obama was questioned about this back in December before he left on his uh, office. And, he remarks on how important it was to Beijing and uh, his message to Donald Trump in phone calls with Donald Trump before he was president was that this was a very big deal to China and Donald Trump really should honor it. And it was very important for diplomatic relations between the two countries. So, you know, it, it's difficult to say at this stage, this news has only just uh, broken here in the United States, but perhaps a sign that, as I say, as people like Rex Tillerson, uh, James Mattis, who's the new defense secretary, as they join Donald Trump's cabinet, they're more conventional Republicans, uh, part of the Republican establishment who, who have followed these policies for decades. So perhaps their views now are, are beginning to reflect more in Donald Trump's uh, policy positions.